Hi, my name is Alicia Davis King, and today I'm with Tatasha, my natural hair client that I've transitioned into natural. Um, today, what I'm going to do is give her a hydration treatment and style her with a spiral set mohawk. Basically, with twist of braids on the side and roll the middle um, with flex rods. Tatasha has been transitioning for a year and she did she did not do the big chop. We gradually grew her relaxer out and this is how much natural hair she has now. Okay, Tatasha, I'm gonna ask you, um, how do you feel about being natural right now? It feels good, I love being natural right now. And what was the reason that you transitioned from uh, the relaxer? Well, when I had relaxed hair, my hair was always thin, so I want a healthy hair, so that's why I went to natural. Okay, and how was your transition? Did you do the big, well, I already stated that you didn't do the big chop, but how did you feel about um, cutting your relaxings off once we got your new growth long enough? Oh, it was fine. I mean, it was fine. I kept it up most of the time for about a, a year, I think, and then you only had to clip just a few and so it wasn't that bad and notice that Tatasha has color so natural hair is it is safe to color natural hair and just you want to change it up give it a little texture so first I'm gonna start off with putting her hydration treatment on and this is not a relaxer once again it's not a relaxer it's basically just a hydration treatment and we call it it's the hair thermalizer system and this is our cuticle alignment treatment which is going to put hydration into the hair. Hydration is what makes natural hair grow, what makes it curly, what makes it define the curl. So I'm going to start off putting it on and then we're going to put it under the dryer for about 35 to 40 minutes and then we'll go into the style once it's shampooed. Now the thermalizer is very, really, a hydration system that is very easy to put on. And notice again, I don't have on gloves because it is not a relaxer. It's basically water, vitamins, and minerals that you're putting into the hair. It gives it hydration, flexibility, manageability. It does not dissolve the hair. takes about 15 minutes to put on and then she's going to be under the dry for about 30 to 40 minutes and we'll be back after this. Okay guys, I'm back. Again, my name is Alicia Davis King and I'm with uh, realnatural.com and I have solutions for you in maintaining your natural hair. Once you become a fully natural, I'm going to show you different techniques and you can follow me on YouTube discover new techniques for your natural hair. Like she's been thermalized and you see it is not a relaxer because her natural hair is still here. And you can see how it defines her curls and makes her hair more hydrated. So, what I'm gonna start off doing is showing you how to do a quick mohawk with twister braids on the side. Start off by putting a little moisturizer on the hair. You want to put it all over and rub it in. If your hands still have moisturizer on it, keep rubbing it in and working the hair. The best way to, to comb natural hair is get a pick and pick it. What I'm doing now is maneuvering the product throughout the hair. Notice how fluffy her hair is and how the natural hair is moving. Natural hair is not supposed to be hard. 
Hard hair breaks, soft hair doesn't. Okay, notice I've just made three sections. If you're going to do a mohawk, it's best to go ahead and make your sections and you can work a lot faster. So, I start out putting the moisturizer on her hair, dispensing it through the hair. And you notice her hair is not white, so that means her hair took in the moisturizer. You don't want to use a product that your hair does not soak up because your, your, your hair is resisting the product. So now what I'm going to do is do a twist design and you can braid this, you can blow dry it and then braid it. Pretty much with the natural hair, you just whatever you have time for. So what I'm going to do is start twisting her hair while it's wet so because it's a lot quicker. I can choose to blow dry but I'm going to do it wet. What I'm doing here is called the flat twist. Now once you get this whole side done, notice how she has these little curly, natural, fine baby hair that lays there. That is natural. You don't want to try to do anything that makes it too hard where it doesn't lay down. The best thing to put on it is like some type of edge control. There's so many different kinds out there. You can kind of decide what's best for you. Notice how much control that I have with her hair. Now I'm going to go around and do the other side the same exact way. Okay, now what we're going to do is start rolling the natural hair. And you notice the moisturizer, the hair, natural hair dries really quick. So sometimes you want to keep your little oil and um, coconut oil and water mix or whatever kind of argan oil, whatever kind of oil that you like. Just mix it with that and then hydrates the hair back up so you can keep it a little damp. So what I'm going to use today is a flex rod, which everybody knows. And they come in different sizes. So if you're dealing with longer natural hair, you can use the bigger ones. I want hers to stand up, so I'm going to use a smaller one to give it more volume. And I'm going to put a little bit more moisturizer on the hair before I roll it. And you want to use the end paper to secure the cur curls so they'll lay flat and smooth around the roller.
and you want to remember don't put too much hair on the roller or it takes longer to dry and I don't use set lotions or foam wraps because they take longer to dry you use the instant moisturizer the curl sets and it's soft and flexible Most natural people have a concern with the middle part of their hair being short right here. Most natural people, that is because the hair is does not get, uh, get direct sun on your hair, so therefore it doesn't grow as long. And most people do have a short part piece right there, but if you nurture that piece and keep it moisturized, this piece will catch up with the rest of your hair. You just have to be very delicate to that section, and it is very common for that section to be a lot shorter. Okay, she's done. That took about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to roll. And you see, you can roll these on any size rollers. Anybody with natural hair that has been hydrated and thermalized can use this type of technique. And you can pretty much use the products that you want to use. Basically just showing you what you can do with your natural hair. Okay, we'll be back after this dries to show you how to complete the style. Okay, now once you take the rollers out, you can use whatever kind of oil you like. 
spray it down with some oil. If it's a little damp in some areas, you can just hit it with the blow dryer. So now what we're gonna do is lift it and style it. And you just wanna start off kind of rubbing your hands through it, and rubbing the oil in. And so what I did was secure the sides with bobby pins to keep the twist in. So all she had to do is basically throw a satin bonnet on this at night. And then once the curls in the morning when she wakes up, pick them out. Once she gets tired of the curls, she can go in and double strand twist the middle. And one good thing about this is you can pick it out as big as you want it or you can have it as small as you want it. So for hers, I'm going to give it a little bit more height. And the older it gets, the bigger it gets. Now Natasha, when you get up in the morning, sometimes when you have to pick this out, we everybody knows when you go to sleep with your natural hair, it draws in at night time. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is pick it out in the morning, put your little oil on there. Nighttime, you can twist it up. You don't have to twist your hair every night. If you want more divine curl, you may want to twist it every night. But if you don't care about the puff, just let it go and wear your puff for a day. Shine, and she is ready to go. This is called the Spiral Set Twisted Up Mohawk. This is a uh, Twisted Up Mohawk done with Flexi Rides. And this is Tatasha, and notice how she has this look. So, my name is Alicia Davis King, and I'm with, with RealNatural.com. And you can contact me at 501-398-4545. I have the solutions for your natural hair.